What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I've only just got round of doing this video. As you can see in the title, I'm doing my review of the F1 2017 season. Now over the last couple of weeks, I have been going to a few events recently. Four different events. One was in the, uh, the race to Dubai. Uh, the second one was uh, the Formula One in Abu Dhabi. The third one was Rugby Sevens. And the last and final one was the Omega Dubai Ladies Classic that I've recently just been to. So so yeah, I've only just got round of doing this video right now because I've been uh, busy for the last couple of weeks. And also Tom is now in Dubai, so I've spent a load of time with him recently. So I thought, why not do this video today on the on the day of the Manchester Derby? Um, so so I thought do this video today and um, by by the time this video is out you'll know the result of the Manchester derby. Hopefully United will get the win but straight into this video basically the F1 started in Australia in Melbourne. So before I can start this video you'll probably see some of these pictures coming up on my screen uh, on the screen that you that you're going to see. Some of these rounds uh, they're not spot on because they probably taken out a few races and added a few races in so they're not really that specific the rounds uh, so as we all know they wouldn't miss out and put round 19 as Australia because it's always been the first one but there's a few rounds if you can see closely that the rounds are not properly done properly for this year but uh, unfortunately it wasn't updated but anyway let's get into the video so in the first, uh, so unfortunately, guys, I can't tell you who took pole position. I can only tell you the race winner. Um, so basically, the race, the race winner, and also the uh, the order of merit where everybody is finished in every single race. So the first weekend it was the Australian Grand Prix in Melbourne. Unfortunately, it wasn't the start what Mercedes wanted. It was a great Friday and Saturday. Um, not maybe not the best qualifying, but uh, we had a great Friday. We probably dominated the Friday, but unfortunately, Sebastian Vettel probably took pole position, uh, took the twenty-five points. Lewis Hamilton came second, and Valtteri Bottas came third, and Kimi Raikkonen came fourth, and Max Verstappen came fifth. Unfortunately, Daniel Ricciardo in, at his home race he had to um, retire which is unfortunate and a bit controversial to happen. So, yeah, it was a good start for Mercedes, second and third, not the best, but going into the Chinese Grand Prix, um, it was a good, solid win for Lewis Hamilton, but he probably most likely took pole position. The most, When I say most likely, it's probably because when, when you take pole position, you have more control of the, of the next day of the race, where you can just, um, you know control the race, see where everybody is, open the gap, uh, the gap up, and um, that's what Lewis Hamilton did. There was only six seconds between him and Vettel. So uh, Hamilton took a nice, solid 25 points home. With Vettel, second, Max Verstappen, third, and Ricardo fourth. And unfortunately, Bottas came sixth, so he didn't have the best of races. Um, going into Bahrain, it's only about an hour on the plane from Dubai, so... Fortunately, um, it was it went Ferrari's way. Um, unfortunately, Sebastian Vettel uh, won the race. Won the race. Uh, uh, follow on behind is Hamilton and Bottas, Ricard, uh, Raikkonen and Ricardo. And um, yeah, a few DNFs now and there. Max Verstappen didn't have the best of starts and do not finish in um, Bahrain. Going into the Russia Grand Prix, basically. There's a few races where I did not get to see them because I was either in school. Uh, as you know by now, I am not I'm not in school anymore. If you've not been watching my videos recently, I advise you to go back and start watching my channels, uh, my uh, videos again. If you've not been on my channel for a bit of time, uh, because now I've now finished school. So, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, it was a great. It was a great weekend for Valtteri Bottas. He took his first win with Mercedes. Um, uh, and he took a nice solid 25 points with Vettel behind him. Raikkonen, Lewis Hamilton finished fourth. And Max Verstappen finishing fifth. You must be asking the question, Brett, why did Lewis Hamilton finish fourth? 
I think it was just because he had a gearbox issue, so he had to replace his gearbox, and he had a, like a five grid penalty, and he probably took pole position as well, so which put him back to like sixth or something like that, and then tried doing the undercut on um, Red Bull, and uh, obviously it worked, and um, it's all about the strategy as well this year as well. Going into the Spanish Grand Prix, as you may know, basically um, the drama happened last year with Rosberg and Hamilton where they both collided and um, both went out the race. But finally, Lewis Hamilton got the win for the weekend. Obviously, it was a great, I think it was a great showdown in Spain because um, because uh, uh, Hamilton passed Vettel and on lap 44, which is his car number as well, so he would love that for sure. Uh, unfortunately, that race, uh, Raikkonen did, did not finish the race, and neither did Max Verstappen. So I'm going to leave a clip net, uh, right now of how the of how a kid reacted to um, Raikkonen uh, out, and then gets a hat off him. Here's the clip. And that young man is going to need more than a bedtime story to cheer him up. Sad, isn't it? He's probably been up since four o'clock this morning. That's the and, young fan, uh, not Kimmy Wright. Yeah. young lad is under the podium now. He, he is having the best day of any child in Spain ever. So in that clip you would have just seen a kid getting a hat and just to make his day. Wow, what a, it was impressive for sure. And um, yeah, um, so it was a good weekend for Lewis Hamilton get, passing uh, Vettel on the 44th lap and winning the race going into the Monaco Grand Prix we've probably had a few memories now and there in um, Monaco um, where Lewis Hamilton went in the pit stop, didn't get the pit stop quite right and um, didn't go his uh, race win I think that was the year before that or, was the year be or the year before that it was one of the years and um, yeah, he's obviously not had some great memories there unfortunately Hamilton didn't uh, finish the race in seventh position. That is due to because he um, did not make it into qualifying three because uh, due to some idiot who crashed uh, into the wall. Uh, goes by the name of Stoffel Van Dorn who crashed his car, which ruined Lewis Hamilton's lap. He basically left his hot lap to the last minute, which he needs to work on, and he can't be doing that in future races. Uh, as well, Lewis as well. So unfortunately, Vettel won the race, followed by Raikkonen, Ricardo, Bottas just missed out on the podium, and Verstappen fifth, oh, and Carlos Sainz finishing finishing sixth. So he would have been buzzing with that win because he was in front of a a three world champion as well. So and to hold him off as well, he was over the moon with that as well. Going into the Canadian Grand Prix, Lewis Hamilton took pole position. He took. Ayrton Senna's, um, he broke Ayrton Senna's pole positions, so he got uh, Ayrton Senna's hat from the, Se the from the Senna family. He was honoured, he was emotional, and he couldn't believe it. And um, yeah, he got pole position, and it was his weekend. And now he's kept his helmet for future use. May not use it, obviously, because it'll probably bring bring in memories of what happened to him, as well. So. Yeah, where he died in a in a crash, uh, which isn't which is a bit controversial. And um, yeah, Hamilton won the race, followed by Bottas. So it was a great one too for uh, Mercedes, followed by Ricardo, Vettel, Perez, Ocon, Rick Raikkonen. And obviously, it's a, it was a very this year. It's been a very good um, rivalry between Bottas and Raikkonen as they both um, finish. Going into Azerbaijan Grand Prix, uh, it, it's at Monaco and Azerbaijan are both street circuits, and we had a few night races as well, also known as Abu Dhabi is one, um, Singapore's one as well. Ricardo 
won the race apparently uh, due to because um, Lewis Hamilton, his head rest uh, came up and unfortunately the team had to put it down. So in the future races that are coming up for next year, I advise Mercedes to have like an inspection of a car before the race starts uh, so we can't have any failures, fa failures during the race which that happened and also the um uh the th the the uh, thing between Hamilton and Vettel uh, on one of the starts uh so where Vettel got his um uh two point on, on his two points on his um uh F1 license which wasn't happy about um and uh, apparently he was nearly close of uh, missing a race this year as well if he got another point on his license if he got another point on his license he would have had to miss a race so unfortunately uh, he didn't miss a race this year and managed to complete every single race so well not every single race because the, the he had a few DNFs as well so unfortunately uh, Azerbaijan did not go for Lewis Hamilton's way Ricardo won the race Bottas got second Lance Stroll got third, Vettel got fourth, Lewis got fifth, and um, yeah, it's good for Lance Stroll to get his first win on um, on the F1 calendar. Bottas just getting Stroll in the last, probably on the last um, corner as well. Uh, it was a good Austrian Grand Prix for the likes of Nicky Lauda and um, Total Wolf, who is the principal of Mercedes at the moment. The um, what do they call it? The head, like the head, uh, the person who runs the whole, Merce well, not the whole Mercedes thing, but yeah, um, but yeah, unfortunately, but uh, Bottas got his his win in Aus in Austria. He got his first win back in uh, Russia. He got his first back, uh, his first win in Russia, and uh, yeah, he got his second one in uh, in in Austria. Followed by Vettel, Ricardo, and Hamilton. Apparently, Hamilton probably had a gearbox issue, so they need to work on of um, on the gearboxes this year. Well, for next this year, uh, for next year coming up. The year before that, it was engine problems. Now, last year was the uh, gearbox issues. What's going to be next? Don't know. So, so yeah, just having having a few failures now and there. Lewis Hamilton going into the British Grand Prix has dominated it by five by winning it five times as well. So massive congratulations to Lewis Hamilton. He has bossed it in in his own in his hometown as well. And that was where the the weekend the weekend just before that all the drivers went to the uh, try try and try. Uh, can't remember its name. I'll leave it here. But um, it's in London, and um, they went there. Ha apparently, Hamilton didn't go to that uh, event uh, because he wanted to prepare properly for the race and the weekend. So Hamilton won the race, followed by Bottas, a great one too for Mercedes, and also for the factory as well, as the factory is in um, Bricksworth and also uh, in Brackley as well. And um, Raikkonen on the... Um, uh, taking third place and Verstappen taking fourth. Fortunately, Vettel slipped down to seventh, and that was because on the last race, uh, Vettel and Raikkonen, um, they both had like tire failures as well. So, yeah, it didn't go well uh, on the last lap for them. So, which was a bit unfortunate for them because I thought they were going to do something in that race. Fortunately, I couldn't watch that race. It's annoyed me now because uh, for the last two years I've not been able to watch the British Grand Prix, my own, my own country, in F1. I've not been able to watch it for the last two years, which really annoys me, because we've done some, we've planned to do something on that day. So going into the Hungarian GP, uh, Sebastian Vettel won the race, so it's most likely he probably took pole position again, followed by Bottas. Oh, followed by Raikkonen, Bottas and Hamilton. Hamilton because I think, oh, I think he had another end, uh, gearbox issue as well. Right guys, so basically I've only just remembered that basically in this race, um, Hamilton said on the team radio that he had more pace in the car than uh, Valtteri Bottas as he was on his backside. Now, basically, 
Hamilton was wanting to hunt down the Ferraris. He didn't have enough pace, but uh, but a uh, cut a long story short, uh, they told Hamilton that he had to give back the position to Bottas. So Hamilton had to drop back down, and ha and Bottas was in front of Hamilton. So yeah. Uh, so it didn't go his way. Verstappen finishing in fifth, and um, a DNF for Ricardo. Not the not the best for for a Red Bull. Um, then going into the Belgian Grand Prix, um, Lewis Hamilton won the race as well. Taking nice solid points for Mercedes, 25 points. So, followed by Vettel, Raikkonen, uh, Vettel, Raik uh, Ricardo, Raikkonen, Bottas. So Bottas was missing out on the podium as well. A few DNFs now and there. There always has to be a DNF as well. Um, going into the Italian GP, obviously this is this is a race for Ferrari. Fortunately, Ferrari did not get the win. Apparently. Our boys won it, one and two. Um, Hamilton won the race, uh, followed by Bottas, Vettel, Ricardo, Raikkonen, and um, a few DNFs again. Um, going into the Singapore uh, Grand Prix, it's the first night race of the calendar. Uh, um, uh, Lewis Hamilton won the race. That was because um, the likes of um, Vettel. Verstappen, Raikkonen all crashed in the first lap, and um, obviously di different conditions as well. Basically, um, at first it was a dr it was going to be a dry race, but it wasn't. Basically, as we all know, Mercedes are very good in the wet, and it was it was raining, so um, it was a very good turnaround the uh, on the Sunday. Going into the Malaysian Grand Prix, Max Verstappen took the win. Followed by Lewis Hamilton, Ricardo, uh, Vettel coming fourth. Not the best race for for, Ve uh, for Vettel, and not the best race for Lewis as well because because uh, that was the race where Verstappen got Lewis at the start as well, and Bottas as well f f coming fifth. Um, and then going into the J Japan Grand Prix, Lewis Hamilton. Um, Got the win. It was a nice win in Japan. A uh, nice solid 25 points. Max Verstappen taking second. Ricardo taking third. Bottas taking fourth. Just missed on the podium again. And, Ric and Raikkonen taking fifth. And um, that was a race where Vettel did not finish the race because he had a few issues at the start of the race. He had a couple of issues at the start of the race. Uh, Ferrari. So it's unfortunate for that to happen. Right at the last like a couple of races to go of the of the calendar as well going into the united states grand prix as we all know lewis hamilton won it once again um followed by vettel uh Reichen and verstappen bottas just missed out on a, another uh podium again bottas uh, a few dnfs again um and then and for, and then it and then um what was it and then there was a few changes for the likes of brendan hartley coming in uh, Daniel Fiat coming in, Pierre Gasly coming in as well. So there's there's a few new faces that have come in. Well, Brendan Hartley's one, um, but uh, it seems like Brendan Hartley and um, Pierre Gasly are going to be in the seat for T T Toyo Rosso next year. So um, you never know. Uh, obviously, Felipe Massa is now finished with Williams. He's retired, so I hope maybe Daniel Fiat could be in the next seat for Williams now. If if he gets the call, um, going into the Mexican GP, wasn't the best of races for Lewis. He came ninth, as we all know. He won the Mexican Grand Prix. Uh, he he got the world championship in Me in Me in Mexico. He had to be Hamilton had to be in the top ten to win. But even if he won the race, it would have been great at the start of the race. It wasn't the best because. Um, he, uh, Vettel and Hamilton made contact, so Hamilton had to go into the uh, pits, get some new tyres on. I think a change of front wing as well. Uh, there was damage on Vettel, but surprisingly finished fourth. Ha uh, Vettel had to finish second, though. No, he had to finish. Yeah, he had to finish third or higher. But unfortunately, Raikkonen was too was um about like twenty. 
four seconds in front of Vettel, so it was no chance for Vettel to get that. So um, uh, Hamilton won, won the world championship, and um, yeah, it was a it was a night to remember. And um, Hamilton, uh, like I was saying, got out and broke out in Senna's um, pole positions in Canada. Then Hamilton won, uh, uh, broke Michael Schumacher's. Uh, pole positions in um, Italy, in Italy, yeah, and then going into the um, Brazil Grand Prix, uh, um, unfortunately it didn't go Hamilton's way near to the end of the calendar as well, uh, due to if you you know had a crash and qualifying, bit unfortunate, bit controversial as well, which we all didn't know that was ha uh, that uh, that. We really didn't. Uh, we all didn't understand. We all got confused, and it was a challenge for Hamilton for that race, and he challenged himself. Finished fourth, uh, just missed out on the podium. He he had it. He gave it his best, uh, but F Vettel won the race. Bottas came second, and Raikkonen came third. Hamilton came fourth. Verstappen came fifth, and sixth was Ricardo. Good five and six for Red Bull. Uh, a couple of DNFs, and then going into the last race, of, uh, which is Abu Dhabi, which I went to. Fortunately, Hamilton, it was. I thought Hamilton was going to win it, uh, as you would have seen in the vlog. I'm going to leave the both of the vlogs in the links of the description. Go and watch them, and then come on to this video. Fortunately, Valtteri Bottas won the race. It's nice for him to get the win. Obviously, it's not Vettel, so I was pretty happy that Bottas got the win, really, at least. The German did not get the uh, get get the race. Fortunately, uh, Mercedes was just too quick. Hamilton in that race, he just got close, but just did not get close enough on Bottas. Um, but Bottas, he had control of the race. Um, I think um, we all knew it was probably going to be a boring race. It was a nice race uh, for the back of the field, but wasn't the best of races for the top five. Um, because nothing much happened in the top five, and um, fortunately Daniel Ricciardo um, retired in the race, so didn't Daniel Ricciardo didn't have the best of starts, didn't have the best of finishes, so Red Bull really need to work that with Daniel Ricciardo, and it's different for every single driver as well, because Lewis Hamilton needs to work, uh, well Mercedes need to give Hamilton a better uh, gearbox for for the season now, and um, yeah. You know, uh, it was a great season. I think if we have a few more good battles, it it'll be, it'll make it more interesting and exciting. That was uh, that's what happened in Abu Dhabi, but unfortunately Hamilton did not get the win. But it's good for Bottas to get the win. Um, got a couple of wins under his belt with Mercedes for his first year. Uh, signing another contract with uh, Mercedes for next year. It's good. Hamilton got has got another year on his contract, so he wants to sign another one. Uh, midway through the uh, in 2018 and um, yeah uh, overall it was a good year for Mercedes we just got everything right uh, a few races didn't go Hamilton's way they just need to work on that get a few elements on a few new elements on the car get a few new upgrades on the car should be better and stronger stronger engines and um, let's go for it for next year uh, and obviously Ferraris will be up for it so we've got to make sure that the, we have to stop the Ferraris once again and uh, it was a good it was a good year uh, I have to admit and um, Hamilton won the championship I was buzzing and uh, yeah it's a four time a four time world champion and a uh, champion of the world and uh, really happy for the guy and shot for him but anyway it's time to go and watch England and New Zealand that are on right now hope you guys have enjoyed today's video please leave a like Subscribe if you are new, and also comment down below of what your thoughts of the uh, of the F1 year. And uh, see you guys in a new video. And peace.